Welcome back, Trash Tech, everybody. Hello. Today, we are going to be investigating who died, because we're not totally sure. It even says unknown in the little menu here. I think that's cute. But, uh... We've been trying this time to, like, not think about theories as much. But there's one thing I noticed. Okay. In the video I was editing today. Okay, what is Kaido it? Kaido mentions, he says, I'm going to save you guys. Not and himself. I, right, so I wonder if he just took Kokichi with him. I think that's plausible. And then Maki's the one who did it all. So, sorry to solve it, guys. <laughs> um, My only... This isn't a theory, but just something I know, that I realized editing a video is... Remember, there's a crossbow that's totally going to come into play at some point. I don't know what yet, but totally going to be a crossbow that Kaito probably has, maybe. We'll see, though. Um, what if Kaito shot the crossbow through himself so Kokichi couldn't run away? So he, like, grabs Kokichi and then shoots it through his arm so it, like, goes through them both so Kokichi can't, like, break out of it. Because if you had an arrow in you, that'd be pretty hard to get out of. That's very brutal and a little bit of a stretch because he'd first have to like get up to Kokichi to do that, but that would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, let's just look at the big thing first. Which, yeah, we can't even lift it up either. Yeah, because the power's all out. Right. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood in the area. The hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. But we can't, hmm. right? I don't really want to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kokichi. Kokichi? Or, er, uh... Shuichi? Shuichi? Bit of clothing, at least. What do you mean you don't want to do that? At least he, try. He'll do it, he'll do it. There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely... Kaido's coat sleeve. <laughs> In that case, the victim must be... Yeah, I find it hard to believe Kaito's just not dead, you know? Right. But there could I, be more Where else this. would he be right now? If he wasn't dead, you know? Yeah. I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Yes, it's gonna be queen, do it. Press the button. I hope we can. I just want to see the mess of blood and guts. Yeah. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. You should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. But you can't because electronics are disabled, right? Yeah, he's going to figure it out. I don't want to see a crushed body no matter who it is, but I have to do it. All right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Yeah. Hmm. Huh? It's not moving. I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Darn. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Ultimate Detective. <laughs> After looking around the press, I found... Or did oh. someone actually mess it up? The power cord is cut. I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. That's a whole nother issue, then. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Hydraulic press. Okay, so a cut cord. Let's look at that. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little, little <laughs> relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. All right. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have stopped instantly if you used this. Well, well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. Yeah, the safety function is the thing that makes me think it would have maybe been the power getting shut down that would have caused the press to fall. Right. I don't know if that's how presses really work. No, because I think they need power to shut. Th that's what I would think, but it is possible, I suppose. Because um, a press is heavy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, hmm. no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have any theories yet. Um, my, my only, my line of thought was that maybe they were going to press the emergency stop button, but the power being shut off all of a sudden prevented the emergency stop button from working. Okay. Something like that. That's right. This hydraulic press should have had a safety function. The infrared sensor detects a living thing. The press stops automatically. Right. And we know it wasn't Kibo in there, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, it didn't stop when Kivo tried before. Show him rolling out. I love the animation. <laughs> no. Oh. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Stop automatically, huh? It failed. <laughs> All right. 
Safety. Yeah, functions. normally I have a really good idea of what's going on before this. Like, even after seeing all this, you know? I mean, I have ideas, I just don't have proof for them yet. Like, I could think of a billion different possible things that could have happened, but I don't have anything to say one way or the other yet. Maybe Kaito ran out this blood trail as him, like, spotty slamming Kokichi into that, and he, like, cuts the cord to cut the power to the press, which makes it fall? Something? That's one possibility. I could probably think of ten more, but I'm not gonna. Look at the Exosol. Yeah, it's open, too. Yeah. There's an Exosol right in the middle of the hangar. Well, I'm guessing Kokichi was in it, just, like, chilling in there. Must have been. Maybe. What safer place to be? The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. Hmm. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Go in. Hey, dude. Oh? Huh? The hatch is open? How strange. Only the monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the monocubs can open the hatch? What about Kokichi? Yeah. yeah. Normally, the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exosols. Well... Normally being the key word. Face but... me! <laughs> Face me! <laughs> but because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um... Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Unbelievable. Nope! No one's asked me about it either. And even if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. So it's not important? Well, so, Monokuma... Can you tell me straight up, is Kokichi the mastermind or nah? I don't think he is. Especially if he got killed just now, I especially don't think he is. Yeah, if, if he got killed, I don't know right. if I buy that quite yet, because that, for such a character that people love so much, whether he's alive or not, I still think he's going to have like another part to play, you know? I would honestly not be surprised if both of them are still alive, like hiding somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> then what the heck are we doing? Whose blood is this? Well, exactly. I just I could see it anyway. Yeah. Electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable, which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, hmm, you could control the exosol. Hatch is electronic lock. Okay, and he said the electro hammer would be capable of that. Well, he just he said the electro hammer messed it all up. Yeah. So maybe that I don't know. Hmm. Uh, what about the red one? Anything weird about that? The red exosol is completely still. Hey, Suichi. It's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocubs or Kokichi. Okay, I just had a really weird theory. There, there's a red exosol for Himiko. A blue exosol for either Shuichi or Sumugi. A green exosol for Kibo. I guess the red one could be for Maki, too. A yellow one for... Angie? Uh, I was thinking of, like, maybe the survivors or something. We could, like, use it to predict. I don't know who would have the yellow one. And is there a... Rentaro? What's the other one? A blue one, red one, green one, yellow one. There is a pink one. A pink one for... Kaito or Kokichi? I don't know. Just a weird thing. I thought it might correlate with their colors or something. Well, I'm and, sure like, they're, at, like... At the end of the game, we all, like... Storm Kokichi and the Exosols or something. <laughs> Honestly, like, using the Exosols was probably part of the plan once we got to our new planet. Like, I'm sure yeah. we were meant to, like, pilot them and be like, well, oh, they're let's... capable of construction and stuff. Yeah, so... And, and, like, chopping stuff down. We've seen them do that on our ship. Right. Mm. Yeah, so it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Jeez, don't scare me like that. With my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. If you can do that, can you just open the press instead? Oh. Yeah, uh, but I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so sooner? Yeah, where's the line drawn with that? I wish Monocub would tell us that. Mono Kuma, who not Monocub. <laughs> <laughs> that is if Kokichi's alive. But that remote Kokichi, that remote control... This is already gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, we're bad at this. <sighs> Kokichi has for the Exosols. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? He's not the mastermind, Dumichi. What if Mew could have made that for him too? Honestly, like, yeah, maybe. I mean, Mew is smart, but if she could do that, like, Why I don't she? think she'd have to go with like a murder plan or anything, you know? No, just take over the robots. Uh, washing machine. What would this be used for? This looks like a car wash. Uh, clean the exosols. Good job. Thank you. 
Doesn't look like it's been used for, for a while. I don't see any clues. But why is it here? To wash. I don't know, that's suspicious. Uh, You're we, suspicious! Can we talk to these two? <sighs> the Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Okay. Yeah, it won't be of much use to us. Jeez! It's so useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. I'll take it. Yeah, something's better than nothing. Oh. That's nice! It's fine, it's fine! A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. <laughs> He popped out! Oh, what an attention, huh? I know, it's like the third time. <laughs> hmm. Of course I want attention! I'm the mascot for crying out loud! Hey. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Samugi over there. It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know? This might just be the last trial we get, Monokuma. Yeah, he's um. like had his attention divided between the Mono Cubs all game, and he's like, my turn. Mm hmm. Advertising? What advertising? <laughs> no. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's a pretty big clue right there. I think that's gonna have to do with the trial. I don't know. Okay, what does the operation panel do? This could be a big one. Oh, oh this just door. opens the door and stuff, right? Yeah. It's a panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. What truth bullets? I feel like we've collected none. <laughs> yeah, just four. Press, safety function, hatch is locked. I wonder if there's somewhere else we're going to investigate. This is going to be a hard trial. Oh, God. Remember the the fifth trial in the, the second game and just, like, how little you had to go off of there? And, like, you literally just couldn't solve it. Vaguely. I mean, you could, but, like, not through normal means, you know? I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty similar thing in this one. Right. This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it... <laughs> yeah, he was in here! Yeah. Now I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. Well, I'm glad we got a chance to make up with Kaito before he probably died. Wish we would have kissed through the window. Yeah, it'd be awkward, but <laughs> it'd be worth it. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. Maybe something in the toilet? No. Worth, worth a sniff? Uh, no, he didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Yeah. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Yeah, I don't know if I buy that quite yet. Like, literally, what would he be doing just hiding somewhere while a murder just happened? There's our okay, crossbow. Yeah, there's a crossbow. That looks like poison again. Uh, let's look at the toilet. It's not really. Nothing with the toilet. Window. Small window for ventilation. This is the same window from before. <laughs> Did Maki get him that crossbow through the window? Possible. She was acting suspicious. Yeah. And she also, like, insisted on bringing a knife with her. She could have even given him a electro hammer. Because she didn't have it. That's right. She purposely didn't have her own. Yeah, she was like, I'll bring a knife. I'm more comfortable with this. So I, I think she could... And she didn't even seem nervous or surprised or anything about what happened here. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if she had more of a play in behind the scenes or whatever. Right. Teaming up with Kaito or something. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one will be able to fit through here. Well, hmm, I suppose if someone could fit through here, Kaido would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. So, I mean, yeah, the doy. Bathroom window. Yeah, it might have even. See, my only problem with like Kaito and Maki teaming up on this is I don't think Maki would agree to a plan that kills Kaito, and I don't think Kaito would agree with a plan that kills Maki. Or Kokichi. I mean, he's never been about the killing thing. I don't. I don't know. Someone left an interesting comment about that, like where in the original Japanese version, during the fourth trial, Kaito says something like, "I don't want to survive the killing game with you." you oh, know? that's right. I remember so, seeing that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know exactly. Okay, well, that's true. Uh, we got arrows. Whoop. Was anything shot? That's blood. Yep. There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. They didn't go very deep, though. Three in total, and blood on all of them. Uh, um... What is this? What happened here? Hmm. Three arrows. I think there's something to my theory of him possibly inflicting a wound on himself to leave evidence behind. Yeah, I could see that. Alright, what about the bag? Is That's just the bag it comes in, right? Yeah. Ah, this case! Unless there's an electro hammer in it. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaido headed to the far shelf. What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? 
This is the case from before, right? Yeah. Large black case. Okay. So they could have snuck him the crossbow through the window. The crossbow. This is... Yeah, yes, we remember. <laughs> yep, thank you, Urshuichi. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? I don't know. One of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? I don't know, just for fun. I, I don't know, I expected you to read that. that Alright, is this poison? Must be. <laughs> poison? It's a, man, they bled all over it, so you can't tell what kind it is. That looks very intentional. What if it's like anti-poison? Yeah. There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly... I feel like I've seen this before. The label is blood all over it, so I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. Could it be... If it is poison, this bottle must be... Hmm. Taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here. But it definitely has something to do with the case. Okay, so they might want you to think it's poison. What else could it be? Things to think about. Maybe it's... Poison flavored soda. Maybe it's pink paint. <laughs> I don't know. Poison paint, maybe. Maybe. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Okay. See the other. Hmm. That was a, the other one was like a streak, like something got dragged. This looks like a few pokes that bled too much. A dribble, yeah. Yeah. What could this mean? Blood stain in the bathroom. Yeah, the other one did look like a drag. You're right. Yeah. So hmm. that's. Just, yeah, that's weird. All right, I finished investigating the bathroom. I got hiccups. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that. There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning. Which one? Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? I mean, you could take it apart. He probably... I would have... I would think Kokichi would search Kaito if he were to lock him up. So I don't think Kaito would just have this in here with him. Yeah. So I... Honestly, it is probably pretty likely that Maki brought this... Or someone him. else. Or someone else. I don't know who. Because Kaido could have huh, told anyone about this stuff. You are struggling this episode. I feel like everything you say, you're either hiccuping or yawning or burping or... You know what? It's, it's a tough one, but I'll pull through. <laughs> All right. And three bloody arrows. Why three? If you're going to stab yourself, do you need to do it with three different arrows? You could just do it with the same one three times. I don't know. Seems just like a stupid point, but that's interesting, I think. I mean, it's Danganronpa. All the points are for some reason, you know? Yeah. The arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloodied? Bloodied. All three bloodied. And that bottle of poison, what could that have been used for? Of maybe poison. <laughs> hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Yeah, and they could dispose of anything down the toilet. Like, literally, how are you going to recover that evidence? Uh, let's go look maybe in our lab. Yeah, find a bottle that looks the same. Look outside the window, see if there's clues out there. And let's go talk to Kibo and Maki and see what they find. I don't think there's anything else. Well, hold on. Can we look at that? Oh, ex that exosol, the... was that always standing there like that? Oh. Good point. Why yeah. is she why does Samugi look like that? <laughs> what happened? Oh my. There isn't enough info in this. Yeah, we know that. She said that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what about the thing standing behind you ominously? There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch okay, the cockpit is exposed. Yeah, we just saw all this. But Yeah, okay. So only they can control the exosols, but on the other hand, you could control the exosol. This was not in the middle of the room like that. I'm gonna guess that's a glitch. Yeah, because it was totally in the like <laughs> hatch beforehand, right? That, that, that's a very good point. I didn't even think about it. I'm like, yeah, this all looks normal. Let's leave and come back in and see if it fixes itself. Well, maybe it was supposed to be standing there the whole time. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was glitched before. Yeah, which that adds even more. What is it doing out here then? Okay, yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> uh, Do okay. we look at Kaido's coat sleeve specifically? I don't think you can. Bit of clothing. We already looked at it. There's a Definitely sleeve. Kaito. No. Yeah. Okay. Because he's just like part of the really. Are we not gonna like look at the little? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Oh, okay. I guess we didn't. Sorry. The sleeve has a single small hole in it. Hmm. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? Like a crossbow bolt. Yeah. Kaido's coat. Okay. 
I suppose that's about all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have any clues to work with. Hmm. I'll have to find more clues elsewhere. Hard. Uh, okay, can we look at the blood stain puddle? Yeah, we yeah. didn't look at the blood trail. Sorry, I'm a little dumb this episode. <laughs> it's alright. I can't talk, you are dumb. It, it works out. <laughs> what is this? A blood stain? There faint sh There's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern, as if dragged. It looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. What if he tied his coat to his leg and had that planned so it would be sticking out of the press when he was crushed? Why would he want it to be on his leg? Just so it's easier for it to hang out of the side of the press if his whole body gets crushed. To, like, identify him? Yeah. And maybe that's what dragged against the ground to make that much blood, but... Okay. How, what else would it be? Just the only other thing I can imagine of just dragging a dead body. Yeah, the I, coat like could if, have just been an aid to help throw, assumably, Kokichi on the compactor. Yeah, or vice versa. Like, who knows? Right. It looks like it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. This blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. I do wonder if it could be the opposite. If something was dragged to the bathroom? To the bathroom, yeah. But... Why? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, the press is an obvious murder weapon. But I feel like you could clean the blood in the bathroom easy. You have, like, a sink right there. Right. That's about all I can investigate here in the hangar. There are still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I still can't deduce who the victim is. Hmm. I need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. Yeah, I want to go see, like, how Monokuma escaped. Yeah. I feel like Monokuma's being kept prisoner and was never guarded, you know? Yeah, that just... I don't think him and Kokichi are necessarily on the same side. Mm -mm. The alarm system is off. It must still be affected by the electrobomb. All right! I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. All right, Kibo. <sighs> Phew! I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Uh Okay. Uh, I was a bit worried, but I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey! Kibo, before I went to the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. So there's another potential person who could have handed him something through the window, maybe. Look at Maki's reaction to this. Yeah. she, Like I said, she was acting weird. She also acted weird when we said we went to talk to him. Yeah... So, I, yeah, Maki's hiding something. Huh. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Oh, he met Kokichi. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um... You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Yo, mama. <laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. Okay. You, yeah, you said the Exosols could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Like, so, they just walk through the barrier. Yeah, like, I don't think they trigger the alarm or anything, and they but can I, just, like, go through the door. Well, the metal part has to open, but the, right. the electric part they can go through. Right, yeah. So do you think Kibo could do the same thing? But he would probably still trigger the alarm, because we know he triggered the alarm before. Yeah, true. True. So. But I do wonder if someone could get into the hangar that wouldn't normally be able to or something. Right. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone he heading toward the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um, I saw Himiko. Weird. Oh, where is Pini I was in my right lab, now? trying to think of oh. what I should write to convince Kokichi. <laughs> You're gonna write him a letter? You're so sophisticated. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar. With a bag! Clutching yeah. something in her hands. Here they go! <laughs> I think it was a black bag. A black bag? I... Ah, you should have mentioned that. <laughs> you should have mentioned that right then and there. Wow, that's weird. At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But... But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. What? What did you see? Hmm... Why? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. You're right. True, it is suspicious. Hey! 
You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the back at that time? Well, now that I think about it, she didn't. So she had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. That black bag Kimiko was carrying was... Um, her purse. <laughs> yes, <laughs> her magic kit. Yeah. By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, but... Huh? What is it? As I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling it well may have been due to the electrobomb. But... But it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. Which means... So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, right. That must be it. Is that him BSing me, or is that an actual clue? Just him being dumb. <laughs> so that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Oh, uh, okay. Kibo's account. Alright. One thing I was thinking, again, just a completely unrelated theory, what if Kibo was put on the ship to be like a backup pilot or something? So like maybe he has a program in his body somewhere that can like pilot the ship. If neat, if like something happened to Kaito, maybe. Okay, okay. I think that could be interesting. Let's look at the scratches. Yeah, this thing. This like, looks like a knife was dragged all over it. It's like very obviously too, this isn't discreet at all. Yeah. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with an electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. I'm surprised That's it was true. before. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? And what's the point? Hmm. Just so you can't type the code on it? I imagine that would make it pretty hard to type the code if half the keys are gouged out. Yeah. Gouged out. Ah, oh, wait. How were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. Yeah, I... Oh, this, this one's complicated. <laughs> this one is complicated. I mean, we know there were more electro bombs. It also doesn't help the last time we played was like a week ago, so now my memory's like, oh... Uh, a little hazy, a little what, hazy. What happened again? <laughs> So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? So the alarm system and the door were all active and stuff. The only time it wasn't was... When the electro bomb went off. Before we gave the remote back to Kokichi, too. But yes. I, I don't think anyone would have planned something like this way back then yet. No, but we also know... Maki said she stole the one electro bomb off Kokichi. But he still she, had two. That we... Well, we think he did. True. They're unaccounted for, let's put it that way. Yeah, so and there could be more at play here. Maybe Maki's not even telling the whole truth, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I can't believe my friends and it sucks. Hangers front shutter. Do you think it's just gonna make everyone a suspect? Honestly, so far it kind of seems that way. I, I wanted to write off like Kibo, Himiko, and Samugi as being safe. Samugi I still haven't seen anything bad about, but, but like... But Himiko just did that whole thing with... Yeah, so that's weird. And I want to say Kibo's probably safe for now, too, but uh, I just don't know. This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. I knew it. That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. Or up through the toilet if you're a really good swimmer. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. It's a really big toilet. All right, here's the other three. And here's an electro hammer. <laughs> <laughs> There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power. It must have been used. But used for what? Okay, so hitting an exosol takes it out in, like, all of its juice. Yeah, a single exosol should knock the entire hammer out. Yeah. And how many... We only had one electro hammer that was unaccounted for, right? Maki's. Maybe two if Kokichi had one, possibly. Or Kaito's. We don't know. Um... <clears throat> well, you know... But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot, got it? If so three of them correctly. must have been used. That's possible at Kokichi, Kaito's, and Maki's. Or another Electro Bomb. Yeah, or just an Electro Bomb. I mean, if you're using, if you, there's three of them available, that would track with the door, the one Maki used at the beginning, and mm -hmm. these guys. Yeah. So... The Electro Hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours of charge. We know that for certain. Use the Electro Hammer. Alright. I remember the site I saw yesterday. And why wouldn't they be able to just dispose of it better than just in this corner? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Unless it's all misdirection. 
Yeah. Exosol's protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kochikichi said he was the mastermind. The Exosol should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them, too. Hmm. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi, I ignored Monokuma. Yeah, what's Monokuma's place and all this? Go away! <laughs> Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed, I say! Oh, Monokuma! And another thing. It's just, I noticed you came this way last night, Chuichi. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. You were acting all sneaky, weren't you? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't even want to know. Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. No way! But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey! What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak. Cuz! Cuz everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone going there is the same. Wait! No, not that! I meant about the Exosols not attacking us. <laughs> what are we talking about? Cuz the Exosols wouldn't have attacked you. We didn't have to sneak. This is Monokuma doing a bit. Okay, I'm so confused. Yeah? Oh, at the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey, um... Their movements are more limited now that the Monokubs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Pay close attention to whatever he says to that. Yep. Well... Yeah, that's pretty much it. You say so. So the Exosols are being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. Okay. But they were focusing on Monokuma. Hey, why are you telling me all this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. What hey. info? That the uh, Exosols were on autopilot and only their only order was to observe Monokuma. Okay. Gotcha. So. Yeah, it's just. It, Monokuma and Kokichi just aren't on the same side. Like, plain and simple. It's. No. It's just weird. Either something is wrong with Monokuma or Kokichi's not the mastermind or something else that we ca haven't even thought of yet. Right. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Uh, who else okay. could it be? Himiko or... Or any of them, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all I can tell you. Yeah. By yeah. the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrill uh, thrilling to illegally download them. Psycho pop! It's like trying not to get caught by a big game... Oh, God, I can't talk. By a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. All right. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was all nonsense. The information about the Exosols could be a clue to solving the case. Oh, wow. I should remember this. This one's a big brain buster. It is. Exosols protecting Monokuma, okay. Uh... It's so intimidating to just look at them like that. They're pretty big. Oh. <laughs> she just walked through it. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dang and Rampa V3. <gasps>everybody today we're gonna be playing some more danganronpa v3 and someone died and there's blood and guts and viscera and we're and stupid and can't figure out who did it <laughs> well that's not the direction i was going but that works but maybe we'll figure it out this episode maybe we'll have that like streak of just genius maybe the last 20 minutes of the episode are like oh my god i know it i know it i know it uh, yeah I kind of hope not, though. I like going. I like on one hand want to be the genius who gets the theory right. But that it does make the trial like, oh, I already know everything. That's kind of how it was with last trial. Yeah, because like, we, we figured did, it out. We, we got very lucky on the last trial. Like it was, we came up with really smart, really good theories that just bounced off each other perfectly. Yeah. And we got lucky and just kind of figured it out, and it was the only explanation that made sense. So we basically knew like what other way could it be like Though, it had to be going to i really wish it was special ops samugi that <laughs> did all that stuff <laughs> that would have been ridiculous or like the toilet paper like mummy wrap thing would be cool yeah well we'll get something like that i'm sure what exactly did i witness here 
I know for certain the exosols are being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. Okay, he says for certain. But why were they focusing on Monokuma to stop him so he wouldn't do anything? So what's Monokuma able to do that Kokichi wouldn't want him to do? Control the everything ever at all? Yeah, fair. <laughs> like, be. literally, unpredictably, whatever he wants. Is there uh, anything around this circle? Check the other sides. It'll tell us. It doesn't let us miss clues. I've investigated thoroughly inside. I should check around the hangar now. Yeah, I guess there's something we missed. Uh, well, it wouldn't even let us leave the... Well, I don't know. I kind of want to see... Maybe there's... Where else would clues be? I could see what's missing from the poison lab. Yeah, that's I still the... think it's so weird that that's ours. That's the only spot I can think of. I mean, he said inside the hangar. Can I go into detective mode? Where's... Inside the hangar. That's what Shuichi said. Oh, okay. The hangar shutter. Oh, oh. we're just supposed to actually look <laughs> at the shutter. I thought that would just make us go inside. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. Because no one remembers the code. Right. If you come near the shutter without the remote... Well, even if you do remember the code... It's all gashed up. Well, that and the alarm will still go off. Yeah. So, a loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. We had to use an electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the hangar. Hmm. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. Okay, interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't leave any debris behind. Yeah, so it just... Also, how's that possible? But yeah, interesting, yeah. interesting. <laughs> this invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. Interesting we didn't find the other two. Right. Unless they got crushed under the... Uh, Thing with him. Yeah, which, which... What would happen if one got crushed or destroyed, you know? I don't know. Because if they know. were on him and he got crushed, what would happen? I don't know if it's related because he'd be crushed by that point, but... <laughs> but, I mean, it could still disable stuff. Yeah. So I need to use... Well, I don't know. Because if this happened, like, in the middle of the night, those two hours could be up and everything would be back online. So it's not like you really have a good time frame. For... I guess we don't know when this happened. No. But d did they say, was did the blood look fresh or did it look dry? Didn't even mention it. Yeah, and it really didn't. I wish it would, because now that does lead to some... What does the Monokuma file say? Isn't it just someone died in the compactor? No idea who. Yeah, it doesn't even say a time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so who knows? So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what are the other two? Electro bomb. All right. Now where do I go? It's about all I was concerned with in the hangar. Go to your lab. But I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some clues are... Okay. Maki's lab and my lab. Okay. The crossbow in the bathroom and the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. All right. I was really scared to be like, ding, 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 time's yeah. up, let's do the trial. That'd be a really <laughs> short investigation time. Yeah. I should also inspect the three exosols that were protecting Monokuma. I already did that. But why were they protecting him in the first place? It might be related to the case as well. All right, let's go to our lab. It just might. I mean, he talked about the exosols, but we already did all that, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we didn't, it won't let us leave anyway. Right. Okay, yeah, we did. Huh, okay. huh, huh. All right, Maki, tell me what you know. Yeah. Let me in the lab. I think she'll be in here. Uh, maybe. Maybe. No. No. I feel There's a there... lot of stuff missing. Look, on the left, there used to be chainsaws, there used to be axes, there used to be swords. What well, kind of swords? Not yeah. really swords, but... There's more than just a crossbow missing, that's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Oh, and here I thought I was smart for noticing that, but he just says it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Oh, right, because it's in a pile. Oh. Are those weapons? Uh, here I thought I was so smart, but I'm actually so dumb. <laughs> eh, I didn't think of it either. So you went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. Sure made a mess that he didn't clean up. It's because Kaido had them. We should see if those are still in the gym. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. 
All right. Uh, well, we'll take a look around, I guess. Black cases. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. There are cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. It looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they are disassembled. Okay, so it would have to be someone who knew how to assemble it, which wasn't Himiko. But it was Kaido. Kaido knew how. But there are two. When I was here with Kaido before, it was three, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were three of them. And I'm sure that Kaido didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. But who? But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki taught you. <laughs> no. I'll think more about that later, but for now I need to investigate. Crossbow. Okay. Okay, so Kaito put together the crossbow. And Himiko brought it to him is what we're thinking. Yeah. Because literally... I don't see any other way, and even the game is like, uh huh, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> right. I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Okay, yeah, we know. Did we, we already know. look at this? I really like, uh... The firearms has one missing too. I like Maki's assassin fit, just like a red cloak and like all the guns <laughs> ever. I hope we get to see her wear it. But look, a pistol's missing, I think. Look at all these guns. Even if they're all airsoft guns, it's a remarkable sight. There's a pistol missing right there. Hmm. I guess it's not actually relevant. I guess it's not related. Would you like to leave? Maybe Maki just keeps one on her. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, why not? An airsoft gun is still gonna hurt when you get hit with it. Especially if you have assassin aim and you hit him in both eyeballs. Yeah. Alright, now our lab is up here. This might be a really short investigation. It might be, yeah. I don't really know where else we'd investigate after our lab. Nope. The only other place I could think is the gym. Yeah, that makes sense, but... Talk to Maki somewhere if we can find her. I wonder... Wonder what. I just wonder what's up with that other lab. Because we found it this chapter, which makes me think it could be related. Try looking at it again. There's still rubble. Let me in! This doesn't have anything to do with the case. It does, though. I only have a limited time to investigate. I can't get distracted. Please do, though. <laughs> get distracted. It might be interesting. Kokichi lockpick it, please. You know, Kokichi probably could lockpick it, though. So it could be related to the case. Bottle of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. Do we have, like, a log of what poisons we have and we can see which one's missing? Well, I mean, an empty bottle on the shelf will be noticeable. Yeah. Uh, okay, poison. There's several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so... The small bottle of poison I found must have come from here. Ugh! Huh. There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. Strike 9 poison, what's that do? The label says strike 9 poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but even a small amount of it can be lethal. Okay, so a small amount of time. Can't imagine that there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. Poison. Okay, but all the other bottle said was just poison. Well, because it was all bloodied out. Yeah. See if the way the labels were lined up matches. I think it does. Well, let's look. Yeah, from what I, uh, remember. Because you have this one. Poison right in the middle there. And then this one. Pretty much right in the middle. I, I wonder, there has to be a reason it was blocked out so specifically, though. Yeah, because all it says is poison. Yeah, because I know if I have bloody hands and I'm going to pick something up, it's not going to be so specifically, you know? Yeah. Got the bookshelf case files lined up for me to read. There's nothing off about them. They don't seem to be related. No, read them. So what do we check now? This oh, what's on that desk. on the desk? Did they concoct something? What? There are a bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? Bottles say antidote. Uh. <laughs> Antidotes, huh? I didn't know those were here. So maybe one of the poisons in the bathroom, this is the antidote to that one. Mm. But maybe they mixed the other poison with the other poison, so the antidote wouldn't matter anyway. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My brain hurts. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each only works on a specific poison. 
So what yeah. I wonder, I don't, maybe that bottle in the bathroom wasn't Strike 9 or whatever, but one of these three poisons. That's Either Nitate, harm, Hemlock, or Arsenic. Yeah. So. But maybe if they mixed the Strike 9 poison in that bottle, uh, it wouldn't matter. Probably not. Also, these antidotes, why have them out and ready? Maybe if Kaito, Kaito had the poison. What would Kaito do with poison? Think of it that way. The way I'm thinking is why would Kaito poison himself? Yeah, because he's not just going to, here, drink this, Kokichi. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you have a crossbow, I wouldn't think you'd have to worry about poisoning someone. Though, I guess if the crossbow doesn't do it, the poison definitely will. Yeah, like if you wanted to poison dip the arrows or something. Right. But why? there was blood exclusively on the arrows. But why get the antidotes out? Maybe in case it got used on yourself. And maybe mm. by covering up the label with blood, it would prevent Kokichi from knowing which antidote to take. But Kaito would. Yeah, because Kaito... See, that now you're onto something. I, I dig that. Okay. I wonder... We'll have to see where that goes. Uh-huh. There are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so there must that must be true for antidotes. Though, would anything bad happen to you if you just drank all three antidotes? Probably. I mean, it is still chemicals mm, you're taking. Still better than death. <laughs> Strike nine poison and antidotes. This is disconcerting. None of these antidotes are for the strike nine poison. They're all for different poisons. What could that mean? All right. I've investigated this room thoroughly. I didn't find any evidence to suggest Kaido isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Manakuma is still moving around and the killing game hasn't ended. <laughs> it's so confusing. And Kaido's clothes were in the hydraulic press, which means the victim must be... No. It's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. I guess. What if the evidence is like all rearranged now? I'm guessing something is going to have to be changed if we're just going back there. Right. Or like everyone's meeting up and like coming up with theories. I mean, yeah, who knows what anyone else has found. Dang it, this one's hard. <laughs> Okay, let's just teleport back. Well, I do think there is some uh, substance to the hiding which poison is which theory. Yeah, for sure. Like, it seems if, like, like only that would one make person sense. knows what the antidote might be, but the others don't. Or maybe what, there's like a the poison that? that only hurts you when combined with an antidote. Like a trick poison. Ooh. Yeah, I guess we don't know what the poison in the uh, bathroom does. It could do anything. Right. It could be like, mix it with water from the sink, and it does this effect. Or mix it with blood, and it does this. Well, more what I'm thinking is maybe Kaido tricked Kokichi into thinking he's poisoned. Kokichi goes to take an antidote, and then the antidote is what actually does it. Because mm -hmm. anything could be in those antidote bottles, too. How would Kaito get Kokichi to drink poison? Especially if we're thinking Kokichi was in an Exosol. Well, Monokuma said the latch was broken. Which latch? The hatch. Like it wasn't working right or something. Something about the electro hammers messing it up. Oh, right, to the exosol. Which, that means an electro hammer has to have been used on that exosol out in the hangar. Yeah, because we never saw an electro hammer get used on an exosol, did we? No. Shuichi! So maybe Kaito but used one? Do you, you do understand what I mean, where that hang that exosol in the hangar right to our left yeah. has to have been hit with the hammer. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we never saw one get hit with the hammer, so it had to be in some other time that we don't know about yet. Right. Oh, Shuichi, can you come with me? What happened? Is something wrong? Um, I found something strange in the bathroom. Please, hurry. Okay. Uh, that's really weird. I'm not having sex with you, bro. He shouted might. quickly and <laughs> ran into the bathroom. Hmm. What are you talking about, Kibo? I learned how to poop. Very interesting stuff. I need a tutorial. Talk to Emo. <laughs> she doesn't care. Maki, why is it so easy for you to believe Kaido's dead? Dude. She must have been in on it. Yeah. Or, I mean, that and she's just used to death in general, but... True. Oh, dang it, not the washing machine. Hmm, much more interesting than Kibo. I'm trying to see what if anyone hey. has anything new to say. Kiba was looking for you, you know. Hurry and get to the bathroom. I'm not gonna ask what you're going to do with a robot in a bathroom. What's on Himiko's mind? I mean, I might. I haven't decided yet. There's still time. I've investigated a lot, so I have some extra time, you know? Yeah. Hey, it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find Kokichi? Or uh, Kaito. Um, I wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I see. I wonder where he went off to. <laughs> 
Really just sounds like he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Though he's really good at hiding. What if he's just in the red exosol the whole time? He it's could not, be. It's not like we can open it. Or under there. Could mm. it be? Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Seems like. I mean, your face says you want to think that. It's plain to see. But I think that's just plain impossible. Kokichi has been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaido. Huh? Of course, I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaido or anything. Okay. I know, you're probably right. Smoogie has a good point. Hmm. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. I wish. I mean, yeah, we where did all the blood come from? I wish we could open the other exosols now, actually, because if someone, someone's body could just be chilling in one of them, you know? I mean, Kaido could be knocked out inside an exosol. We should use our electro hammer and hit that exosol right over there, you know? Maybe Maki did get in somehow, and that poison knocks Kaido out while she killed Kokichi. A sleep poison? Yeah, that could, and then I, there's just so many things it could be. Yeah. Kokichi's disappearance. Toilet. Turlet. The turlet. Uh, what's up, Kibo? Oh, wait, 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 that's new. Hey! Did you see it on the toilet? Uh, Kokichi's, Kokichi's clothes, clothes were in there. Yeah. Kibo, what are you looking at? Yes. Take a look at this. Huh? It's like when you have to poop really bad so you get naked. That's what he did right now. Do you think they're trying to clog the toilet so the water would clean the blood? What, what do you mean? Like, make it overflow? Right. Uh, but it wasn't like this before. Well, maybe the clothes were in there and we didn't notice. Okay, let's see what Kibo says then. Yeah. These are Kokichi's clothes? It's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt these are Kokichi's. But... Where did you find this? I didn't see it while I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well... The toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain. <laughs> You're so gross, Kibo. It's an essential clue. He's a genius. Yeah. I literally said someone could easily get rid of evidence down the toilet. Yeah. And pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Okay. So Kokichi's going around naked. <laughs> yeah, that's the assumption. <sighs> or maybe, for some reason, if Kaido killed Kokichi or anyone killed Kokichi, they didn't want it to be known that under that compactor is Kokichi. Mm-hmm. Kaido wouldn't want to mislead us and have us all die. I mean, maybe, like, Rentaro did come back with a vengeance if he is the one in charge. But even that seems too, like... I feel like we would have seen some clue to say that, you know? Right. I don't know. Couldn't be flushed all the way. Whose clothes are these? What else got flushed, I wonder? Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yeah. Yes, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Kibo. Log in the toilet, huh? But this isn't the time to hesitate. Uh... I mean, no doubt Kaido took a few dumps in there, right? I mean, he was in here like two days. Kokichi's clothes found in the bathroom. They were found in the toilet. Someone must have tried to flush them. But who would do that? Well, Kokichi, I would think. Why would Kaito have a change of Kokichi's clothes? Well, it might not be a change of clothes. It Even might if it be were, the like ones his that were on his body. What, would he get him naked, throw him on the press, crush him, and... Throw his coat under there or something? Maybe he could sleep poison Kokichi or poison Kokichi to die and then... But even if that is the case, where's Kaido? You think that... Okay, do you think the toilet water could wash blood off of Kokichi's clothes? As long as it was fresh? I would think you should use soap. Like, he, blood's pretty stained. Maybe he did. This is a bathroom. They brought Kirumi back to life, and since she's the ultimate maid, she cleaned the blood off perfectly. That must be it. She's the killer again. Yep. <laughs> What's the matter? Is something the matter? Please, investigate. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Investigate what? Someone tell me. The ultimate detective can't stop here. Oh, God. This has to be an important clue. Well, duh. All right. All right. I made up my mind, grabbed Kokichi's soaked clothes, and spread them open. Hmm. Huh? Okay. There's a small hole in the back. Shot in the back. Looks like it. And on the sleeve there. And another hole on the sleeve. That explains two crossbow bolts and a third in Kaido's sleeve arm. Yeah, so there's three crossbow bolts. Right. I, I wonder if it's at all possible that Kaito got in Kokichi's clothes and then stabbed himself or something. I don't know why he would need to, but... Also, Kaido's like six foot while Kokichi's like... 
Well, still, but you wouldn't need to, like, make the clothes work. True, true. Just, I just wonder what the point of that would be. Hmm. Hmm. This is about the same size as the one on Kaido's sleeves. Okay. So if it's mystery poison on the crossbow bolt that he shoots Kokichi with, why? And wasn't Kokichi in an exosol? Well, he might have just been walking I mean, around. yeah, I guess he has to go out and, like, poop eventually. There has to be times. So he can't be in it 24-7. Right. But I'm sure Kokichi... Remember, this is Kokichi. There's no way he was just playing guard duty for two whole days. He had he had to be doing something. He had to have something planned to like make us feel despair or start up the killing game again or deal with Monokuma. He had to be doing something for this yeah, cause however I many have days. I have no I'd... doubts at all that Kokichi's the one who left that flashback light out. Well, right. I mean, who else could have? Yeah, I mean, no one else has Except access. Kaido, maybe? Or just Monokuma again? Or maybe Maki found it from Kaido in the bathroom, but we looked in the bathroom, so... Yeah. I don't know. There are traces of blood around the holes, too. What does this mean? could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushing the hydraulic press. You're thinking about the wrong things right now. I know, he's just desperate to have thank Kaido you. be alive. <laughs> he is. Ah, Kibo, thank you, thank you. This is a very important clue. Well... Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. No. Uh, your hands aren't clean either, though. <laughs> Kokichi's clothes. Okay. But if Kokichi was the one crushing the hydraulic press, where did Kaido go? Why not show himself? Exactly. And why is this game still going, even though the mastermind is maybe dead? And maybe mastermind. Yeah. Um, if this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? Yeah, Shuichi must like sit there and go on like these long like tirades in his mind, just, <laughs> just like, like staring thinking at the and... toilet, like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're concerned about that? Kibo and I washed our hands in the sink. Good idea. And left the bathroom. Then we shook hands. All right, everyone. Oh my God, that was it. We spent five whole episodes investigating last time. It's about that time. This was time. two, and not even a full two. Yeah, we still got a few minutes yet. That's right. It's time for the class trial, where hope and despair meet head on. Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. All right. Everyone needs to be there. Got it? Anyone who's absent will be swiftly and permanently punished. Everyone needs to be so, there. Remember, he, he emphasized everyone needs to be there. So what if like Kaido and Kokichi show up? And then, and then whose blood is that? One of what? OK, one of them has to be dead. Will this tell us? It, it should. This should tell us for sure who is dead. Unless they're both gone, which means they're both dead. Yeah, if neither one of them is there, they should both be dead. Everyone needs to be there. Got it. Yep. I could maybe see Kokichi skipping out on it if he is the actual mastermind, but then again, he wouldn't skip out on a class trial, I don't think. No. He wants to be there. He loves the attention. <laughs> yeah, there's something awfully fishy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of despair awaits you this time. All we need to do... Okay. Here's a simple way to think about hmm. it. We don't even need to figure out who's dead. We need to figure out who the blackened is. That's all we need to figure out in the class trial. You don't need to overthink it so hard. And if we're thinking who the killer is, most likely people, Kaido or Kokichi. Okay. Maybe, maybe Maki or maybe, maybe Shuichi if it does have something to do with, with that the electro bomb and then the like press comes down on top of them in case they were like having sex on top of the press for some reason. As they would. <laughs> I, I don't think that would be the way it would go though because that's timing. Like, they would have to plan to be on the press or to throw Kokichi or throw Kaito on the press also, at that moment. Also, it's really predictable. Yeah, I mean, we, that's what we thought of, like, right away, so I don't think... Yeah, so... Though I could plus, definitely... Plus, like, I don't think a press losing power would just make it go... No. No, it wouldn't. Uh, because the wire was torn off from the press anyways. So that's a whole facet of it that wouldn't even make sense. Yeah, like it already wasn't getting power. It was already cut. So the electro bomb shouldn't change anything. And Maki had a knife. What would Maki be able to do with a knife? Well, first and foremost, that panel was very scratched up. So that's yeah. my first guess. Right, but I mean, we 
that was scratched beforehand. That technically could have been anyone. Right. And it would have set off the alarm if you were to scratch. Yeah, because she'd have to get close. Unless she could, like, super stealth it, but that's still, like, Even still, that doesn't even make sense for, like... An alarm. Yeah. I don't think it, it would go that route. Uh, It'd have to be Kokichi messing with it, I would think. Maybe he didn't want to bother with the door code. Couldn't remember it or didn't know are, it. Are the electro bombs loud? There was a pop, I think, like a bang. Here's another thing. Hmm. Could all those scratches on the box have been it being rewired and disassembled? Like, they looked pretty random and animalistic. But maybe that was to hide the fact that it was... Changed. Changed in some way. Who would be capable of rewiring well, Kokichi, something? Kokichi, I would think. Kokichi's the only one I could think of that would be able to do that. I would. I could see it with Kaido, just because I would think, like, if you're on a spaceship, you'd have to have some pretty good... Like, like, electrical skills to fix potential problems. Fair, but why would... I mean, how would Kaito get out? How did Kaito get out of his room? Let's think that. Like, we didn't see anything tampered with the door at all. If Kokichi had him locked in the bathroom, how would he get out? Kokichi pays him a visit, and that's when he strikes? Is that it? I would think something along those lines. Um, the electro hammer could disable the door, because it looks like an electronic e door. It probably has an electronic lock. Uh, bomb. Well, the electro hammer electro could bomb. probably disable the alarm and the door from inside. Yeah. Because wasn't that panel to our left connected to both? So, okay, if, if Maki throws the electro bomb, <laughs> it's just, you know what? There's just so many avenues. We just can't yet. Normally, we could put it together pretty finely by now, and I'm sure once we know everything, we could still. Yeah. But this one's just really I just the, don't the know the fifth trial is always hard yeah it's just hard man and it, I'm glad it's always weird <laughs> I'm glad too but we'll leave that episode there mm -hmm. um thank you for watching everybody and we'll see you next time uh I got nothing to say <laughs> normally I'd be like yeah I think I think you're right about Ganta doing it or whatever I don't know uh, the, the only Kaito thing Kaito or Kokichi or maybe Maki that's kind of where I'm at the only thing I feel sure about is that I'm guessing Kaido hid which poison it was on purpose. But how did the poison... We'll have to ask Himiko, because un unless Himiko just brought him the poison, which makes sense, that's fine. I mean, yeah, How I else think would he get the poison, you know? You could probably just stuff it in that bag along with the crossbow. It's not very big. But I, I wonder if the poison maybe could have been part of Kokichi's plan. And the clothes in the toilet. Weird. The whole That must have been to hide Kokichi's clothes. Yeah. Like, so they wouldn't be found during investigation. Why wouldn't you want to think that... Why would you want it to be unknown if Kokichi is dead or not? Because that... Seeing his clothes... I mean, Kaito has no way to go into Kokichi's room and get a change of his clothes, you know? Those have to be the ones he was wearing. I would think so. So if Kokichi is just dead and those are just his clothes... Or running around naked somewhere... But does he have crossbow bolts in his body? Did... Okay, this, this is weird. Did Kokichi use, like, sleep poison or something on Kaito, put Kaito in Kokichi's clothes, and then make this really weird, just really hard-to-solve case where it's actually... It is Kaito that's dead, but it makes you think Kokichi is dead or something? I don't know. But why would Kokichi put Kaito in his own clothes and then still put the jacket under the press? Like, because... it's just, there's just too much here. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. It is, just, it's just weird. Yeah. But we'll find out in the next few episodes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. probably. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And bye bye. To Toodaloo.